Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made my Halloween themed stanchions with sort of chain rope to block off parts of my Halloween display. It was so quick and easy and I really loved the way it turned out that I'm going to be making some more and I thought I would share with you how I did it so that you might be able to do that as well if you have the need to maybe rope off an area for people to not go in like around a cemetery or if you want to make a pathway for people to follow it's a great way to chain off just a particular area and you can cover a long distance very cheaply and very easily. And to do that, you're going to need a few things from the hardware store. Um, these are baluster wood. Um, it's basically like rail decking material. It's actually pretty affordable. This three foot length comes for like 86 cents, I believe it was, or something close to that. And as you can see, I left part of this one unpainted just so you can see what it looks like in its natural state. I just took my dollar spray paint from the hardware store, sprayed it with the matte black finish, which I prefer for these projects. Um, this is just one coat, which I feel is good enough because it's gonna be out in the weather anyway. It's gonna get a little dingy. Um, so I'm fine with one coat. You could put on a couple of coats, make it a little bit easier. Um, or if you have black paint by the gallon, which was always uh, a good idea, you can you know, just paint it as well. But spray paint, quick and easy. This can, a dollar. I love it. The other thing you're going to need um, are the chains to go around, you know, where you're going to connect the stanchions with chains. And you can really make these to any length that you want. Now, um, part of my haunt required um, a 10-foot span that I wanted chained off. So all you do is you take the zip ties from the hardware store and you can zip tie together the chains to make as long of a chain as you need. You could even cut it if you wanted to make it shorter. Um, so if you only needed like one and a half lengths, you could do that. And then for some decoration, I also bought from the Dollar Tree um, a couple of different yard stakes. Now this is pretty much exactly what we're gonna be making in a smaller form. Um, so like for instance, this you would just stake into the ground. You've got your stake, you've got your little chain um, that you can connect them together. And this actually comes two to a pack, so two for a buck, but I'm only going to be using these as decoration. In fact, these little chains that they are, um, that they come with, I just gonna take those off, discard them, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first thing we gotta do is make our base. So again, three foot lengths of this wood. What I've done is I've taken some and cut them into one foot lengths. That way I can get three out of a piece of wood. And you're actually going to need four of these per stanchion. And all you're gonna do is basically put them down around the base, like so. And then once you've made your little pinwheel shape, you're just going to screw them. I do two screws, so I'm gonna screw one right here and then one right here because that's gonna screw it to the side piece of wood as well. And then once you get them all screwed together, it um, will become very stable. So let's go ahead and do that now. I just used the drywall screws that I had on hand. I like these because they're self-tapping, means, meaning that they will drill very easily into the wood. Um, so we're gonna start with drilling one screw into um, the vertical piece. So you can see, I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. All right, and I'm not picky about making these absolutely, you know, vertical. I just go for quick. So what I'm gonna do is take my drill, and I'm gonna just start the screw here in the piece of wood. Once I've got it a good way in, I'm just gonna hold it up to the piece of wood here. Use another piece of wood if you like to just kind of brace it so that it doesn't shift around. And then with that kind of just sort of snug in place, if I don't move it with my moving my drill, I'm just gonna drill that in now. All right, so I've got my one piece. It's a little loose, but 
you know that we're going to fix that when we get to the second um, screw but for the moment let's go ahead and finish I'm just going to keep going around I'm going to screw the next one again I'm going to pre-drill it a little bit stick it on screw it in and then we'll just make our way all the way around okay so I've gone ahead and screwed all four in this is very easy it's got a little bit of wiggle room um, but kind of the snugness holds it in place but like I said I'm going to add that second screw for support I'm going to drill it right here so it will connect the side pieces of wood not to the front just to each other and that's going to hold them all together And there we go. Now it is very sturdy. It is not going anywhere. And when I've got it standing up, it's not going to tip over because of all of the legs. Now keep in mind when you're doing this, it is going to stick out a foot in each direction. So you do need to have um, a good surface area of where you're going to put these. But we don't want just this ugly block. Like I said, we are going to embellish it a little bit. I've got two different types I chose the bat theme for the top because I really like the way that looks um, with the bat wings sort of sticking out. I think it gives it a good presence. Um, but I didn't want to put an upside down bat at the bottom. I mean, I guess that could be kind of okay, but I really liked the way the spider looked at the bottom. So I was going to do a spider on the bottom and a bat on the top. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And all we are going to do is zip tie these into place. Of course, I choose my black zip ties so that it all kind of blends in. Just gonna put it where, you know, it needs to go. If you use two of these, now you can go all the way to the bottom. You can play with it. I just, I'm going to line up the tips there. Um, kind of looks like a little bit of added design element to it. Uh, whoops, I got two spiders. <laughs> Let me rearrange that. And there we go. So it'll look something like that. Actually, um, what I prefer to do is have the bat so that the whole bat is slightly above the um, top of the stanchion. So let's go ahead and start with the bat. Again, I'm just gonna take my zip tie. I'm going to run it through these these uh, pre-existing hooks and then just zip tie it. It's kind of sliding, but that's all right. We're, we're gonna fix that here in a second. So just get it where you want it to be, roughly there, and then pull that zip tie as tight as you can. And that pressure is just gonna hold it into place. Then I'm going to do a second one. Just make sure that you've got it sort of centered on your pole as much as you can, and then zip tie it into place. All right, so there we go, two of them. I want to put my spider on the bottom, so I'm going to do just the same thing again. And take my two zip ties. Here I just wanna make sure that I line up the tips and pull it tight. All right. Last one, oh. again, just wherever you think is a good place to push it through. You're not gonna see this black zip tie, it's gonna blend right into the plastic. So before you give it that final uh, pull, again, just kind of make sure you shift it enough so that it all kind of lines up where you want it to be. Take a look, a little hard to see okay so give it that tighten and then we just take our scissors and clip off the ends of all these zip ties and there we go stanchion ready to go now i need to make another one so we can do our chain
And here we go. We have two stanchions ready for a connector. And I think one chain for this purpose will be just fine. Again, you can modify it to whatever length that you want. I kind of want just something to block off a small pathway. So I think one chain is going to be just fine. Now we need to be able to connect it. Again, we're just going to use that with zip ties. And I think for this purpose, the smaller ones work well. So I'm just going to take a small zip tie and loop it around the bottom of the chain and just make myself a small little loop. So there we go. I'm not going to tighten it all the way. It's just, if you can see that, a little bitty loop because we have these built-in hooks from the Dollar Tree. Uh, one thing, you know, the whatever these things are. And we're just going to loop this small zip tie around that chain. There we go. All right. So I'm going to take another one for the other side. And there you go. It's, an, I mean, this, the weight of this is nothing. It's not going to pull these things down by any means, but it certainly does look like chain. And uh, it's a good way, I think, to block somebody from walking through. What do you think? <laughs> Um, and then, of course, I really love the way these look when they are connected several at a time. But that'll do it for today's project. Make sure that you stay tuned for more DIYs, product reviews, store walkthroughs, and so forth. But in the meantime, let me know what you think of this. Will you be making your own stanchions? Do you need something like this? Um, what do you think? And until next time, guys, take care and happy haunting. What the